Okay, socialites, uh, so I just woke up and this is my hair. It's so very rare that I tie my hair up. I really have to be going somewhere important <laughs> the next day for me to tie my hair up. So this is it, you guys. So I wanna show you guys how I mold my hair and get my hair to how you guys normally see it. So this is it. I just went to sleep on my sheets and my pillows and didn't tie it up or anything because I knew I was gonna be doing my hair this morning. So the first thing I like to do is wet it completely. Okay, so now that my hair is completely damp, I like to go in with my first shampoo, which is always the purple or the blue shampoo. So for that, I like to use Pureology. Pureology products, and this is not sponsored by Pureology or anything, but my favorite products for my hair it, um, as far as shampoos are Pureology and Reckon. I use Reckon too, and so one day I'll show y'all the Reckon products. But um, the first shampoo I like to use, the Pureology, This is it, you guys. So this is the first shampoo. So after you completely wet your hair, just so you, you guys can see, this is the color of that shampoo. And what this does is makes the color super bright white. That's what this shampoo does. This is what gets that color really bright because over time, when you wear like platinum blonde, like super blonde hair like mine, the elements gets to your hair over weeks and your hair starts to turn like this dusty yellow color. It doesn't look white, it looks like off white, it looks dusty yellow, it looks dry. And when you use these colored shampoos, it just makes the color look super vibrant. I put this one on first and I let it sit for about two minutes. Yeah, so once this is completely throughout my whole entire head, I let it sit on for about two minutes. Okay, y'all, so it's been about two minutes and now let's rinse this out completely with sort of cool water. I don't like to use warm or hot water on my hair. Um, one thing that you guys should know about my hair is light as my hair is. And when your hair is this light, it can become unsafe. Just being transparent about it. But I never have breakage in my hair, never. My hair never breaks off. I just, my hair just remains strong. And it's because I'm really particular about the way I care for my hair. So I use really good products on my hair. And the pillow that I use when I go to sleep is like a satin co covered pillowcase. And if I really have somewhere to go, I'll cover my hair with a satin scarf um, before I go to sleep. But um, anywho, when I shampoo and condition my hair, I like to use cool water, as cool or cold as I can stand it. And it just helps with the strength of the hair rather than use warm water that can sort of break down that strand and make that strand feel weaker. Cool water makes the hair feel stronger on my hair. So I always use cool water. So let's go ahead and rinse this off. Okay, y'all. So the first shampoo is rinsed off. When I feel my hair, I still feel like oil because I do put a heavier oil. Um, when your hair is this light and especially when it's short like mine, you can afford to put as much oil as you want and the heavier the oil the better you know how typically when you have really any hairstyle hairstylists recommend don't use heavy oil you don't want to weigh your hair down well it's the opposite when you go this light the more moisture and the heavier oils you can put in there the stronger your hair will be throughout the prop you know throughout that time that you have you know your hair colored so this is just rinsing it out from the first shampoo. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of that color left in there from that purple shampoo, right? It's just slightly tinted a little bit. So now I go in with my second shampoo, which for that I use Pureology Hydrate Shampoo. And the whole entire Pureology line is for color treated hair. It's really, really good for color treated hair. So this is the second shampoo I go in with and you only need a tiny bit of this. Like I could have probably used half of this amount, honestly. 
And so it looks tinted purple a little bit, but it's really clear. It's really clear. And so since my hair is still damp, I'm going to go in and lather really, really good. And this is going to get the rest of that purple out and turn my hair super white. Every step you want to use something that strengthens the color. Um, and too, I don't know if you guys have seen people with super light hair and over time it just looks really dry. Um, it's so easy for hair this color to just look really, really dry. And so that's why I like to use really good products that hydrate every step of the way. Um, if you've ever seen me in person, my hair is always shiny. It never looks broken off or damaged. It always looks healthy and shiny. And y'all, I'm giving y'all the game. <laughs> this is why. And once I've lathered this for about 60 seconds, I'll let it sit for a couple more seconds. So about 60 seconds of lathering, you can go ahead and rinse this one out and then all of that purple and blue should be out of the hair. Okay, so look how bright look how white i feel like my hair is lighter than the wall color so yeah those are the two shampoos i use so this was the sh second shampoo you guys i go in with the conditioner that goes with this shampoo so this is the purology hydrate Conditioner, like I said, all of them are for color treated hair, the entire Pureology line. You don't have to have color treated hair to use the Pureology line. It's just a very strengthening um, hairline. And this stuff is super thick. So I use about this much of the conditioner and I literally put it throughout my entire head. This stuff makes your hair so super strong, you guys. Like, Literally, I, if you could see my sink, y'all, I don't have not one strand of hair in the sink. No, like, look how I'm going in. I don't lose hair. You may see, I think I see one strand here. Yeah, I see one strand on the tip of my finger. I don't lose hair. My hair stays strong throughout the whole process. So when people say, Oh, when you go that light with your hair, your, your hair is going to fall out. You're going to lose it. It's how you care for your hair. You have to use really good products. And I do this to my hair about once a week. It just depends on how much I feel like doing my hair. Sometimes I do it twice a week. Um, sometimes I do it once a week or sometimes I even go 10 days. Um, but anywho, now that we have this on and I like to put a little bit extra like take a little bit extra just to coat my edges because you know the edges see the elements the edges touch the elements a little bit more than the hair that's inside of here so i just like to really coat those edges because i like my hair to be a nice and strong so boom Okay, so we have our conditioner on here. So now I get a plastic cap. And I let this sit for about 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So let me go make some coffee, maybe eat a piece of toast. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, y'all, so I am back. It's been like 20 minutes, y'all. <laughs> you can keep it on longer, but try not to keep it on lesser. So it's been about 20 minutes. My head has like this cool tingling sensation from the conditioner. So now I'm gonna rinse it out with cool water. So it's gonna feel cold, but trust me, it helps to strengthen your hair for sure. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about a common mistake. So one common mistake when people um, are rinsing out their hair, just in general, not only with short blonde hair, is that they don't rinse the conditioner out thoroughly, okay? So rinsing your conditioner out is not a 60 second process. I would even say it's not a two minute process. You need to rinse your hair out thoroughly. Um, especially when you have hair this light, 
it's so porous that when those products and conditioner and shampoos are in there, it's wanting to stay on that hair. So you need to rinse your hair at least, I would say about three or four minutes thoroughly, like really work your fingers through the hair to make sure that that product, whatever it is, shampoo, conditioner, whatever it is, leave it, whatever it is that you're trying to rinse out, make sure it's rinsed out completely, 100% out of your hair just be mindful of that step because it makes a difference on how long your hair lasts and experiencing itching and stuff like that and just for those who don't know i am a licensed cosmetologist i'm licensed um in the state of texas i have a license and that's why most of my products are professional products that i buy from a store where you have to be licensed to shop at i don't know if some of you knew about it but i'm actually a licensed cosmetologist i just don't do hair anymore i worked in a salon from 2010 all the way to the pandemic hit okay so next step you guys is you want to comb your hair in the direction of the style right this is before you put anything else on it. So what we don't want to do is put a whole, whole bunch of foam on our hair or whatever wrapping or molding product we're going to use to mold our hair in place. You don't want to use so, so much. And when your hair is not combed in the style that you want, usually whatever your, your foam product, usually you use a lot of it to try to comb it in that direction you don't need all of that product, you guys. So comb it in the direction you want it to go first. Whatever direction you wanna mold your hair, get it in that direction first and then add your foam. That way you're adding minimal product. Your hair is already the way you want it to be. You're just adding a little foam to, you know, get that extra lay down and to help your hair stay longer. And to help with shine. When you have good foams, a good foam makes your hair really soft and shiny. A good foam does. So, I'm pretty much combing it in the direction that it grows in. So, you're comb when I say comb it in the direction of the style you want, if you want waves, like if you're going for like a waved hairline, like you know, or however you want your hair at this point is what you're creating, right? So I think I'm pretty much going to do mine like a downward style today. Sometimes I wave the front. And then I'm taking my phone. I'm going to put the name of the foam that I like to use on the screen because I put the foam inside of here, inside of this container, but it's not Design Essentials foam. Um, so I'll put the name of it on the screen, the foam that I use. And another foam that I really, really love is Paul Mitchell Foaming Palmade. That is my absolute favorite foam to use on my hair, um, but I'm out of it. So I'm using this one and you really want to be careful to lay down especially all of your outer edges with the foam because typically the top is gonna lay, but you really wanna put it on all of these edges all the way around, you guys. Okay. So now we're gonna comb it throughout. And you're using the pressure from this hand to really get your hair sleek. You wanna get your hair super sleek before you put your wrapping strips on there. Because if your hair's not sleek, it's gonna dry not sleek. However your hair is before you put those strips on is how your hair is gonna dry. So if you leave any wrinkles or dents or separations in your hair, then when your hair dries, you're gonna have those wrinkles, dents, and separations. So this is the part that you wanna be most careful because However it dries this way is how it's going to be, and it's going to be hard to change it up any other type of way because your hair is going to want to stay in this mold because it, it was wrapped and dried that way. So how you want to wear your hair for the next week or however long, you really want to be careful to make sure you set it and comb it that way. So I'm really using pressure from this hand to try to get my hair sleek because I want it to dry sleek.
Okay. So now I like to use the white Rapid Junior strips, stretch them out, and I mold the top first. Tie it and twist. Okay, y'all, so my hair is completely covered. So depending on how much time I have, sometimes I just put a silk scarf on top and just go do my housework or, you know, edit a video or whatever I'm gonna do if I'm gonna stay at home. If I have somewhere to go, which you're getting ready with me, so we're going somewhere. Um, if I have somewhere to go and time is of the essence, then I'll sit under the hair dryer for about 40 minutes. And then it's usually dry by that time or it's almost dry. It's dry enough for me to move on to doing my makeup. And I can just put a satin scarf on my head um, while I finish my makeup. And then it'll be completely dry by the time I finish. So most likely what I'm going to do is sit under the dryer for 30 minutes, put my satin scarf on, do my makeup with you guys and by the time I finish my makeup my hair should be completely dry so I'm about to sit under the dryer for 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and do makeup It ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no one for guessing. No more than emotionally invested. Showing you all my imperfections. Oh, if I let you, don't take me for granted. Yeah, if I'm worth more than you could manage, manage. Yeah, oh, be with me. Oh, we could be uh, closer to me. Oh, giving me some. Wasting my time the 
whole time, so just be careful what you take for granted. to Busties for sending me this breast tape kit. I absolutely love breast tape. I'm one of those people that wear a bra because I have to. I really, really, really don't like to wear one, but I have to, right? So in cases where I don't have to wear one, I do love to use some sort of breast lifting tape or covers. And so this was like super clutch. So in the kit, it comes with tape, a big roll of breast tape. It also comes with these pasties to cover up, a whole set of them. And then it comes with a set of those silicone breast covers. And then it also has some other little um, boob, co boob coverage in there as well. And then you get this cute bag that you can put all your stuff in. So I wanna show you guys a quick before and after of my outfit using the Busties kit. Okay, so this is the before. So y'all can see how it looks before. And this is the after. So obviously I have one here and I don't have one here. <clears throat> And what I used from the kit are these silicone breast covers. So I use this here. And if you can see, it obviously covers the nip area and then it slightly lifts. If you want more lift, you could use the tape to pull it up. But I like the way it looks with this. And the thing I like about these is typically these give me no lift and they fall off. The fact that this sticks so well is very impressive, you guys. So. That's here, so you see the difference. <clears throat> and so, just that simple sitting up so yeah y'all this is the outfit of the day so for handbag i'm going to wear my fendi mini trezor bag and then for fragrance i'm gonna wear the coach dream sunset as you guys can tell i love this stuff i'm almost out of it it smells so feminine and soft and beautiful. 
And so, yeah, for shoes, I just have on my Uggs, just some little short Uggs and If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Cause I've been where you are. Don't you stick to show me love. Cause too fresh with the scars. I don't have the answers